Hello, eighth grade. This is Matthew C. Lesson 18. Not 18, sorry. This is lesson 14A. And we're going to be talking about substitution. Okay. So if we look at this, the first three have been already done for us. So we're going to move on to number four down here, four through six. Okay, you need to pay attention very carefully. Okay, so let's look at number four. We have two equations, first off. We have this equation right here, and we have this equation right here. Two equations. Okay, I'm gonna draw each equation on the graph, and then we're gonna estimate a solution. When it says estimate a solution, that means we are going to find where they intersect. So first, Let's work on the first one, 2x plus 3y equals 0. I'm going to write that down here, 2x plus 3y equals 0. Okay, we need to get this in y-intercept form first, slope-intercept form. Okay, so I'm going to subtract 2x on this side, subtract 2x on this side. I have 3y equals negative 2x. Divide by 3, divide by 3, y equals negative 2 thirds x. Okay, I don't have a y-intercept, so it's just going to be plus a 0. Okay, so I'm going to graph this first. My point's going to be right here on 0. I'm going to go down 2, 1, 2, over 1, 2, 3. There's my first point, my first line. Let me go ahead and graph this line here. Okay, I'm going to do my second line in black. All right, so my second line, y right here, or I'm sorry, x minus 2y equals 7. I'm going to erase this for a second. I got x minus 2y equals 7. I need to get this in slope-intercept form. So I'm going to subtract x, subtract x. I got negative 2y equals negative x plus 7. Divide everything by negative 2, and I have y equals a positive x over 2 minus, not plus, minus 7 over 2, okay? So I'm going to start with my y-intercept, which is 7 over 2, or that is three and a half, right? Seven over two is gonna be the same as three and a half. So I'm gonna go up three and a half, one, two, three and a half. So right about here, I'm gonna go up one over two, up one over one, two. So about right there. Okay, I'm gonna graph this line. Okay, if I graph that line, you can see my point is going to intersect right about here. All right, so draw each line for number four. We're still on number four. Draw each line and estimate the solution. Okay, so we drew each line. Our solution is going to be negative one, two, three, one, two. Negative three, two. Okay. I'm going to erase this here. All right, number five, use the substitution method to find y. You must first solve one of the equations for x. Okay, so I should not have erased those two equations, but that's okay. So let's take our first equation that we had, which was 2x plus 3y equals 0. I'm going to put this back into slope-intercept form. So that would have been 3y equals negative 2x, and it's y equals negative 2 over 3x, okay? So y equals negative 2 over 3x. I'm going to plug that in to one of these equations, okay? Or to this equation, actually, right here. 
Okay, so it's telling me that y is negative 2 thirds times x. So I'm going to go up to this equation, and when I see y in that equation, I'm going to plug in this right here. Okay, so let's do that. I'm going to rewrite it over here. So I have x minus 2. Here's where I'm going to plug in my y, negative 2 thirds x. Okay, and that equals 7. All right, so now I'm going to multiply this together and try to find out what x is. So I have x minus, if I take 2 times negative 2 thirds, okay, it's going to become a positive because I have a negative 2. Okay, so it's actually going to become a positive 4 thirds, 4 thirds x equals 7. Okay. So now look, I got x over 1 plus 4 over 3x, just fractions, right? Because really, this is 1x. So I just need to add these two fractions together. First, I need to find a common denominator of 1 and 3, which is going to be 3. Okay, this is going to stay the same. That was times 3, so you got to do the top times 3. So now you got 3x. Okay, so 3 over 3x plus 4 over 3x equals... Add those together, you get 7 over 3x. Okay, so 7 over 3x. I still have my 7 over here, though, equals 7. Got to get x by itself, so I'm going to multiply this by the reciprocal, 3 sevenths. That means I need to multiply this by 3 sevenths. Okay, if I do that, these cancel out, those cancel out. Look on the other side, these cancel out, and I have 3, so x equals 3. All right, so I know x equals 3. I need to go back up here now and find out what y, oh, we found out what y equals, negative 2 over 3x. Okay. We didn't find out all of what y equals now, because now we need to multiply my 3 times my negative 2 thirds, and that'll tell me what y is. Okay, so one more last step. And yes, these do take a little bit to do, so you got to go slow. These are not fast problems by any means. So I got x equals 3. Okay, I'm going to go back into my equation. Okay, and I'm actually going to write a, I'm going to use this equation again right up here, this, this second one. I know now that x is 3, so I'm going to rewrite this now. 3, instead of x, I'm going to do 3 minus 2y equals 7. And now I'll be able to figure out what y equals, okay? So I already know what x equals. x equals 3. Let's find out what y is going to be. Okay, so I need to subtract 3 here, subtract 3 here. I'm going to erase this right here. And now I got negative 2y equals 4. Divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2, y is going to be a negative 2. And I know now that that point is 3, negative 2. Okay, if you go back up here, look what happens when I go over 3, 1, 2, 3, down 1, 2. It's this point right here. So I know that I'm right because it matches up. Okay, if we look at number six, using the solution to number five, substitute to find x, we just did that, right? x was three. Okay, let's go down to number seven. I'm going to erase this stuff, hope you had it. Okay. I'm going to do my first line here. Erase this up here too so we don't get confused. I'm going to do this first line in red. So we got y equals 2x minus 5. Okay, y equals 2x minus 5. Um, I am going to first graph that point. So I'm going to go down negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up to 1, 2 over 1. 
So there's my first line. Okay, let's do the second line in black. X plus 2y equals 10. I'm going to have to change that into slope intercept form. So x plus 2y equals 10. Subtract x, subtract x. We got 2y equals negative x plus 10. I need to divide everything by 2. And I got y equals negative x over 2 plus 5. Okay, so I can graph that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Down 1 over 2, down 1 over 1, 2. Okay, I can graph this point. There we go. Okay. And estimate the solution. My graph, as you can see, is a little cut off there, so I don't think it matched up exactly. But I believe it is supposed to be this point right here, actually, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3. 5, 3. Okay, I'm going to check something up top here real quick. Okay, oops. Okay, so moving back down here. Now for number 8, it says use the substitution method to find x. Okay, so we need to find x. Okay, so we got y equals 2x minus 5, and we got x plus 2y equals 10. So it's telling me what y is, right? Y is, it's telling me that y is 2x minus 5. So I'm going to plug in 2x minus 5 into my other equation where y is. Okay, so bear with me here, right? I got x, my second equation is x plus 2y, but instead of putting y, I'm going to put in what the other equation is telling me y is, which is 2x minus 5. 2x minus 5. And then I got to write the rest of my equation equals 10. Okay, so we're going to solve this to find out what x equals. All right, so I have x plus 2 times 2x is 4x. 2 times negative 5 is negative 10, and that equals 10. Okay, so x plus 4x is 5x. And then if I add 10 here, add 10 here, 5x equals 20. Divide by 5, divide by 5, x equals 4. Okay, so I got my x. So use the substitution method to find x for number 8. We found it. x equals 4. All right, this time you are looking for another way to express y. The first equation tells us that y equals 2x minus 5, so we substitute that value in for y in the second equation, which we just did. Okay, so for number 9, use the solution to number 8 to find y. So now we got to find y. We know x is 4. Okay, so we're going to plug 4 in to one of these equations. Does not matter which one. I'm going to just stick with my first one, y equals 2x minus 5. So I'm going to have y equals 2x. Now, instead of putting x in, I'm going to put 4 minus 5. Okay. And now I can figure out what y is. y is going to equal 8 minus 5, which is 3. So now I got both points. x is 4, y is 3. All right, that is all we're doing. It takes a little bit, right? You got to go slow. It takes a little bit, and uh, um, but it's kind of fun once you get used to it, right? You put it in, and you can find out what each point represents, right? And actually, if you do it correctly, look back up here. If you do it correctly, you should see 
one, two, three, four, one, two, three. It's actually supposed to be here. So when I estimated my answer at number seven, I was off by one. It's actually supposed to be four, three. Okay, and that's how also you can tell if you're right or wrong, all right? So that is all I'm gonna cover. I want you to try number 10, all right? Then I want you to try the next page also. If you have any questions, let me know. I will see you guys tomorrow. What do you think of my mustache?